गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन इन दी लास्ट क्लास वी स्टडी अबाउट हीट टेम्परेचर एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ हीट होप यू अंडरस्टूड दो टॉपिक्स इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्ट टू कैंपस केयर ऐप टूडे वी विल सी स्टडी अबाउट थर्मो मीटर फर्स्ट वी विल सी how to make the measuring temperature uh, so my dear children have you seen a thermometer you must have seen a thermometer uh, recall when someone is sick in your home or suffering from fever one instrument is used to measure the temperature what is that that is the thermometer Uh, there are many types of thermometer but here in class 7 we will discuss only about two types of thermometer one is clinical thermometer and other lab thermometer let us first see clinical thermometer so the thermometer that is used to measure our body temperature is known as clinical thermometer you can see the diagram given here of clinical thermometer here in this clinical thermometer you, you can see it consists of a long narrow uniform capillary tube it has a bulb which contains mercury outside the tube my bulb a small shining thread of mercury can be seen if you do not see the mercury thread you can rotate thermometer to see that the capillary tube has a small bend in it this bend is known as king this king plays very important role how does it play important role let us see if water fall on any surface what happens it immediately spreads over a large area but if any viscous liquid suppose honey if honey falls does it spread over large area no because it is viscous similarly mercury is also viscous liquid so when the bulb is taken out from patient's mouth the temperature will go down so what will happen this due to this viscous nature and this king the mercury level will go down but as continuity will break here and immediately the mercury will not go in the bulb and we will be able to read the thermometer so this king help us to read the thermometer after taking out the thermometer from patient's mouth again if we have to reuse the thermometer it has to be given a slight jerk which brings the mercury back into the bulb Now you can see the scale also given in on the thermometer both the scales are given degree celsius and degree fahrenheit there is one red mark also which shows the till there it is normal temperature 37 degree celsius and in fahrenheit 98.6 degree fahrenheit next we will see thermometer scales we see two common scales to measure temperature one is celsius scale it is indicated by degree c and other is fahrenheit scale which is indicated by degree fahrenheit so first celsius scale in the celsius scale the lower fixed point is 0 degree celsius and the upper fixed point is 100 degree celsius here lower fixed point corresponds to the melting point of ice so what is the melting point of ice it is 0 degree celsius and upper fixed point corresponds to the boiling point of water and the interval between these points is divided into 100 equal parts 
Next is the Fahrenheit scale. In the Fahrenheit scale, the lower fixed point is 32 degree Fahrenheit and upper fixed point is 212 degree Fahrenheit. The interval between these two points is divided into 180 equal parts. Next is reading a thermometer. A clinical thermometer reads temperature from, as you saw in the diagram also, it reads the temperature from 35 degree Celsius to 42 degree Celsius. The normal body temperature of human body is 37 degree Celsius and in Fahrenheit it is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Here one question arises, in the, is the body temperature of every person 37 degree Celsius? No, the temperature of every person may not be 37 degree Celsius. It could be slightly higher or slightly lower than that. The clinical thermometer is designed to measure the temperature of human body only. The temperature of human body normally doesn't go below 35 degrees Celsius or above 42 degrees Celsius. Now one more question is there. Can we use a clinical thermometer for measuring the temperature of any other object other than the human body? And can we use clinical thermometer for measuring temperature of boiling water or boiling milk? We cannot use clinical thermometer for measuring temperature of boiling water or boiling milk because the range of clinical thermometer is, as we discussed, it is 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. But the boiling temperature, boiling point of uh, milk is more than that or boiling temperature of water is more than 42 degrees Celsius. So we can't use clinical thermometer for measuring temperature of boiling water or boiling milk. There are some precautions to be observed while using a clinical thermometer. Let us see what are those precautions. First, thermometer should be washed before and after use. And we must ensure before use that the mercury level is below 35 degree Celsius. While reading thermometer, level of mercury should be kept along the line of sight. Otherwise, you cannot know the correct temperature. And last, we should not hold the thermometer by the bulb while reading it because it would not give you correct temperature. So today we stop here only children. Next class we will study about. Lab thermometer. Okay, thank you.